After the queen's record-breaking reign, it will take much longer to extract her name, image and iconography from the fabric of national life in the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth of Nations. These are some of the things that need to change. Thousands of flags decorated with EIR will need to be replaced, from flags flying outside of police stations across the UK to the standard used on a military ship with a general on board. Military regiments fly in Queen's colors, many of which are decorated with a gold-embroidered EIR, the fire brigade insignia includes her initials and personal flags used for the Queen when visiting countries where the Queen remains head of state, including Australia, Canada and New Zealand, which flag experts refer to as E-flags. It is also possible that the royal standard, which is the quartered flag that flies wherever the monarch resides, will change. The version used by the Queen includes one quarter, a common lion, representing Scotland, one, harp, for Ireland, and two, three lion crosses, representing England, but none for Wales. It has been used long before Wales had its own national flag recognized in 1959. The next monarch may contain a Welsh element. There are 4.5 billion pound banknotes in circulation with the Queen's face, worth a total of 80 billion pounds. It will likely take at least two years to replace them with alternatives that include the head of the new monarch. When the last synthetic 50-pound notes were issued, the recall and replacement process took the Bank of England 16 months. When the Queen ascended the throne in 1952, the monarch was not on the banknotes. That changed in 1960 when Elizabeth II's face appeared on the one-pound notes in an image created by note designer Robert Austin, whom some criticized too harshly. An image of the new monarch was to be agreed with Buckingham Palace. The Queen's head is also found on $20 bills in Canada, coins in New Zealand, and all coins and notes issued by the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. Coin designs can be changed more slowly if historical precedent is followed, it was common to have different monarchs in your wallet, as change in coins happens organically rather than recall. One of the simplest changes in theory would be to change the lyrics of the national anthem from God bless our gracious queen to God bless our gracious king. However, it may take time for large crowds to confidently sing the new version. The anthem has been used since 1745, God bless our king, the great George, long live our noble king, God bless the king. The queen was the defender of the faith and supreme governor of the Church of England, and there are prayers to her in the 1662, Book of Common Prayer. May the spirit always incline to your will and walk in your way. These are expected to be changed to prayers for the new ruler. Familiar royal weapons, consisting of a lion and a raging unicorn against a shield, are widely used in government buildings and stationery, and any changes will be costly, but not necessary. If the new monarch decides to represent Wales on the shield in line with any changes in the royal standard, it will need to change. Royal Mail mailboxes bearing Queen Elizabeth's royal cipher ER are unlikely to be removed. Some with King George VI's GR cipher are still in use today, 70 years later. However, the post office will replace stamps with the profile image of the new monarch used. Deputies are not allowed to sit in the House of Commons, speak in debates, vote or receive a salary unless they pledge allegiance to the King. Since 1952, the phrase has been, I, member's name, swear by the Almighty God that, according to the law, I will be faithful and give true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, her heirs and successors. God help me.